And this first poem is called, You Ever Sit Next to Someone Who Smells Bad and Sniff Yourself to Make Sure It's Not You? And even after the sniff, I'm convinced it must be me. A pen breaks in my pocket, blots of ink, and I assume this is my fault for not ensuring it was twisted properly, instead of questioning the make of the pen. Social media friends tell me I'm in control of my own happiness, and so, then, my unhappiness is my fault. A chemical equilibrium I have tried to strong arm into submission. I am frustrated by things I cannot accomplish merely by hard work, but I'm working on this. Cleaning the psyche is not the same as cleaning the apartment, as cleaning the body. I am always self-conscious. I spend time around too many people who are not my people, then get upset at myself for being upset at my own strained sadness, at how history presents a presentation pricking our brown awareness once. A dog jumped up and scratched my glasses, and I was sorry for wearing glasses to begin with. How dare I desire to adorn my face or to see? Hey, y'all. How are we doing? Um, it's really good to be here. Thank you so much, Maraid, um, for inviting us up to read together. Um, thank you for uh, driving. Uh, <laughs> um, no, this is great. Um, if I talk too long, I'll just start rambling and then probably start crying. So I'm going to go into the next poem. Uh, this is my chapbook. Um, I think it's all right. I like it. Uh, there's some poems in here. So the the primary kind of project guiding this book is to use what's called the Pokédex. I don't know how many Pokémon fans there are in here. Um, you know, I see like one like eh, and then one fist in the back. So thank you. Um, so the idea here is using this encyclopedia that you find in the Pokemon games and using those entries to then generate material uh, via different methods. Some are persona poems, some use that as a launching point for a metaphor, um, lots of different things. And so not all of the poems are, um, are based on these entries, but many of them are, and so they have um, those titles. Um, but for whatever it's worth, Avan Jordan liked it, and he's never, you know, he doesn't know anything about Pokemon, so do with that what you will. <laughs> This is the first uh, entry from that series in the book. It's called Pokédex Entry Number One, Bulbasaur. And the quote from the Pokédex says, a strained seed was planted on its back at birth. It plant, it, excuse me, I'll try that again. Pokédex Entry Number One, Bulbasaur. A strained seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokémon. Root wrapped around spine. Pre-flower. Vine under bud. What do we call what we carry on and in our backs? What burns under our skin? It ties itself to our nerves and endings. I was born with bad blood and the makings of napped hair, crackled skin, all the things the doctor makes me list, the family history of depression, addiction, cancer, and maybe there are some patterns we cannot break. Research says trauma from our parents may live in our DNA. The bulbous nucleus at the center of each cell like a bulb ready, dangerous, the sprouting collage in each of us. I let my seed grow, sprout, open. Everything given to me at birth, awesome, invisible, my awful nourishment. Pokédex entry number 468, Togekiss. The quote from the Pokédex reads, it shares many blessings with people who respect one another's rights and avoid needless strife. It will never appear when there's strife. Its sightings have become rare recently. We haven't seen a Togekiss since the invention of the gun. No, the knife. No, it was the first time a man used a stick, its end sharpened to creature-killing point to meet the heart of another man. Maybe it was before we turned even hydrogen to weapon. No, we haven't seen a togekiss since the bridge lined with bodies, their bones broken under the hooves of horses. 
We haven't seen a toga kiss since a man demanded spice, demanded his faith inflicted on the faith of others, demanded access to the land, traveled overseas to enact these desires. Even before then, did we see a toga kiss before the first circle of men reaching to grab stones using the products of the good earth to purge life from a shamed body? Before a brother shed a brother's blood in a field? Before a man blamed a woman for swallowing the flesh of corrupted fruit? I'm beginning to think they are only myth, that the creature remains stuck barely hatched from its egg, small new wings barely able to develop, hovering low over a cursed ground, holding a blessing until, with no one to bless, it withers back to embryo, pulls the shards of egg back together and sighs and hides and sleeps. <laughs>